please excuse the hot mess that I am right now. Because this is just where we are with it. <laughs> um, I'm making a charcuterie board for dinner. Um, I saw this on the Glam's Twins page and I thought like, oh my God, that got to be the perfect idea. I haven't been feeling like full meals lately. And when I do get a full, ignore the nails, my appointment tomorrow. <laughs> but when I do get a full meal in, um, or when I do try to get a full meal in, it takes me the whole day to eat a full meal. Like I had like a, I wanna say a 12 bit sub the other day, and it took me the whole day to eat it. So I've been in a really snacking mood lately, like grabbing some fruit juice. Like I got these organic presses I love. Y'all, look at the other vlogs. I've been trying to eat more healthier and I think it's been curving a lot of my cravings. So I wanted to show y'all how I'm gonna make my charcuterie board and how I make this like kind of detox, pH balance, good for your skin, good for your hair juice. I tell you about that. Yeah, I got all my stuff next to me that I'm gonna use. So, so I got two kinds of crackers. Here's the one of them. Please ignore my nails. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. But I got my crackers. Butterflies, it's a transformation for me. I do want a lot of different options on my plate. So I'm not gonna put too much of whatever I put on here unless it's a fruit or a veggie. And if y'all hear my kids, they just being kids. I'm gonna take five of these. I don't know if I'm gonna design this all extra pretty or not, but you know, as long as the cookie crumbles. <laughs> but uh, then I got some of these club crackers. And they multi-grain, which I should have got all of them. Put them here. I'm so excited about this because I really walk around the grocery store looking for like <laughs> stuff specifically for my board. I should get some fruit spread. I think I would go good with these. Well, not these. I thought this was something else, but this is something else I got. These are dark chocolate almonds. I love dark chocolate and the sea salt combo. Um, well, I love caramel too, but I love the dark chocolate and the sea salt combo. So. Oh yeah, these, I didn't even realize, that's like super dark. I'm gonna leave, I only grab five almonds and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it that way. Cause I thought this was something else and I thought this was something else. Um, but I think it'll be good. This is what I love, dark chocolate. It's these salt caramels. Ooh, you want to make me randomly smile by these or some gummy bears, baby. <laughs> you got it. These smell so good. I'm going to put some right here. Uh, I think two is good. I don't know how to do it. I think I'm going to come this way. This is what I was trying to show y'all. This blueberry. Oats and honey. I think if I would've got some type of yogurt or like fruit spread, that would've been good for this. I think I'm gonna get some souffle cuts too, so I can just put little, you know, smaller amounts of some of the stuff I got. You also get what I'm talking about. But I think I'm gonna get some souffle cuts, but I'm gonna put this right there. I am for sure going to do some cucumbers. I'm gonna cut that up real quick. Usually when I see these kind of boards, they're all, like the stuff is all scrunched together and I don't know if mine gonna be that kind of perfect. And raspberries are messy, y'all. No. <laughs> Blueberries. See, it's getting cute. It's coming together. It's coming together. I love blueberries and I love what they do for my body. So I'm piling these up on here. Duh. <laughs> oh, that's so big and juicy and bright. Oh, I'm gonna do one more. Here it is. <laughs> my personal charcuterie board <laughs> and it's so cute i gonna tell y'all what happened when i picked up the phone but y'all see it <laughs> y'all see it 
Ruin my picture. Favorite juice ever. <laughs> I've been addicted to it at this point. So there are no proper measurements when it comes to making this. This is just how I make it. So half of my water bottle is gonna be water. It's good for your hair, it's good for your skin, good for your pH balance, good for all of that. Some honey. I don't have measurements for this. Organic, <laughs> organic <laughs> lemon juice. I, I love that clack clack noise. <laughs> and I would say like a shot or two of this. Make sure you shake it all up. And a dab will do it because you do not want that to overpower your whole drink. Bah! Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> These two juices, I mean. And then I usually, whatever amount is left in the canister, I usually half it and half it between these two. I'm sorry, I didn't show y'all the cranberry juice, but it's the same brand as this one. If you can get organic, that's better. But as long as it's like pure cranberry and pineapple juice, I think you Gucci. Organic is just better. Pour this in here. And I low-key think I need a little bit more water. Like a splash, literally. There's that. Bam, top it off. I like to put it in the freezer for a little bit so it can get nice and cold. And this is my favorite detox juice. I'm gonna just call it that because it keeps my skin clear and I absolutely love it. under the cork apparently and it'll pop up so I'm gonna let y'all know if this works because it's my only hope <laughs>